All right, what's going on, everybody? I want to make this quick. You read the title. This is DaVinci Resolve, the free version. If you're looking for a free video editor for your for your laptop, your computer, your Mac, your Windows, PC, DaVinci Resolve is really nice. They got a paid version that costs about three hundred dollars, but then they got a free version that is really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your search engine. You're gonna type in DaVinci Resolve. 17 you should come to website black magic design and you're going to click on davinci resolve 17 studio black magic design and this is what it should look like this is what will pop up uh, apparently the paid version is for like high-end professional work but the free version i'm i don't see why you can't do high-end work on it I, I believe a lot of professionals actually do use the free version so what you're gonna do? I'm just showing you how to how it looks, you know. So the studio version, you can see you can edit up to 32k. 32k. Anybody seen 32k yet? If you have, let me know. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go right here, download now. And you're gonna get this little pop-up window, DaVinci Resolve 17. So it got four versions. Left side, DaVinci Resolve 17. DaVinci Resolve 16 is the older version. DaVinci Resolve 17 Studio. That's the paid version. That costs $300 right there. And DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. I guess some people like the older version better. All right, so this is what you want right here. DaVinci Resolve 17. So depending if you got a Mac, Windows, or Linux. I'm doing this on an HP laptop, so I'm going to click Windows. Click on that. And then this window should pop up. They want details. Yeah, you got to put some info in there. You got to give me your email, your name, where you come from. You know, you know how it goes. Sign your life away. Sign your privacy away. All that good stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to type all my stuff in here. You're going to go down here to register and download. Bam. Thanks. It is now downloading. See down here? If it doesn't download down there, then you click on this right here. But it's downloading, so it's going to take a little while. And it's, it's a pretty, I think it's like three gigabytes. It's a pretty powerful app. So it's it's got some size to it, three gigabytes of storage. So make sure you got enough storage. Like I said, I'm using it on a Windows laptop. And, man, this thing is cool. You know, you can take the footage from your camera, your cell phone, your GoPro, your drone. This can handle anything. Pictures, music, any file that you can think of this thing can handle the free version so i'm gonna wait for it to download then we're gonna open it up check it out all right so this is how it looks when you open up davinci resolve and if you come down here you got one two three four five six seven different pages that you got to deal with one you don't have to deal with but seven different pages available to you today we are going to go over media cut and deliver those are the only three media cut and deliver we're going to do a quick edit we're going to make a little movie all right, so what I like to do, me personally, you can do how you want. Some people start on this page. I like to start on the media page. The media page is where you get your media. You get your your clips, your videos, whatever you got on your camera, on your phone, your GoPro, your drone. You take it from over here and you put it, bring it over here. All right, so first thing you want to do is you want to come up here and click File. And you're going to drop all the way down to project settings. You got to click that first. You want to set your timeline format. You got to know what you're shooting in. So what are you shooting with your camera? Are you shooting in 1080? Are you shooting in 4K? You got to know what you're shooting at because that's going to be your timeline. So if you're shooting in 1080, you're pretty much already set. DaVinci Resolve already has it set at 1080. They got 24 frames per second. Uh, some people shoot at... 30 frames per second or sometimes I even shoot at 60 frames per second or 59.94 um, with my Canon M50 I sometimes shoot at 23.97 it all depends on you a lot of people mostly shoot at 24 24 is usually uh, what a lot of people shoot at it all depends on what you want to shoot so study frame rates study you know the difference between them and what you what you feel comfortable with but you got to set it in here so that's 1080 DaVinci Resolve also goes all the way up to 4K. You can edit 4K in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. That is pretty cool. So if you want to edit 4K, you click this one right here. 3840 by 2160 
Ultra HD. We ain't worrying about that. We're going to stick to 1080. Now, mind you, if you're shooting in 4K, you know, you got to make sure your computer can handle it. <laughs> I'm on a little 2017 HP laptop, and if I start editing in 4K, eh, it runs a little slow. I can do it, but it runs a little slow, so I'll stick to 1080. Nothing wrong with 1080. So after you get this all set up, you ain't got to worry about none of this down here. You come down here, you click Save. Okay. All right. So you got your project timeline format saved you ready to rock and roll you ready to start grabbing some clips from over here and putting them in the media pool over here gotta have a pool party remember all right so what i'm gonna do is you know you can work off what's in your computer if you got it stored in your computer that's fine but if you also want to work off your sd card you can do that too i'm gonna take my sd card out my canon m50 put it right in my computer and you should see it pop up right over here. There it is, right there. See that? Pop right up as soon as I put well, a little while after I put it in. So I'm gonna click on EOS Digital. Right here's my files. 100 Canon. Those are my clips. Click on them. It's gonna take a little while to upload. And bam. Now who your clips? All the clips from my SD card is right over here. Everything on that SD card I can now see over here. It's taking a second to upload everything. Like I said, I'm on an older laptop, so it's going to take a second. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a few clips and take them right over and put them in the media pool so we can edit them. I think I know what I want to work with right in here. Me and wifey went out to, to lunch one day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab three clips. This one. This one and this one. Now, when you click on a clip, see what's happening over here? You can preview that clip before you drag it over. So if you don't want it, and if you do want it, you can check it out before you drag it over there. So you can click on it, and then you can use this little slider. You can drag it, check it out, or you can come over here, hit the play button. That clip will play. You ain't put it in the pool yet. It's still over here, but you just kind of previewing it. You know, you the director. You want to see this clip before you drag it over. All right, so we'll stop there. Yeah, I want to use this clip, so I'm going to drag it right on over. Put it in the pool. Change project frame rate. Yep, I think I shot these clips at 60 frames per second. Now, mind you, you might get this little uh, question right here. Change project frame rate. I shot these clips, I think, at 60 frames per second. But remember, my timeline format is 24 or 23.94. So, do I want to change the project frame rate? It's basically asking me, do I want to change it to 60 frames per second? Because that's what this clip is. No, I want it at 23.97 or whatever, or 24 frames per second. So, I'm not going to change. So, I'll put it right over here in the pool. And we're going to take this clip. I'm going to take three clips. That and this one three clips from my little our little day out to lunch all right so there we go now whenever you make a change in davinci resolve one thing you got to make sure you do see this up here it says edit it you made a change so what you want to do is you want to go over here to file Let's come down and hit save you want to save your project anytime you make a change you got to go up to well you don't have to but it will behoove you to go up and click file and save. It's asking me to save the current project. I got to give it a name. So we're going to call this Grubs. We went and got some Grubs. So we're going to call it Grubs. Save. So now I just saved my project. DaVinci Resolve knows that I'm using these three clips to make my little movie. We ready to rock and roll. All right. So from here, I'm going to go to the cut page. I'm done with all of this. I don't need that. I got the three clips that I want. We're going to go to cut. All right, so we cutting. All right, and the same thing applies. You can double click on the clips and they'll pull up right over here. So let's check out this first little clip. This is me and wifey out to eat. This is our first time eating out during COVID. How do you feel? I feel okay because there's nobody else here right now. <laughs> and we're outside. <laughs> So we outside, great try something the first time. See how it is. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna use that that clip. But 
what I want, we're going to edit this right here. What you can do is, let's see, you see this little orange bar right here? This is a slider. You can use this to go over the clip back and forth. You can determine where you want to start your clip at. See how wifey's hands up like that? Look at that little dance she doing. Mm, 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 mm. I don't want that hand up. I want to start when the hand is down. So we're gonna wait till our hand is down. Bam! Cross. Hands crossed. We're gonna come in right there. So what I'm gonna do? Put my little orange slider right there, and I'm gonna hit the I button. I is for in. So we're gonna hit the in. That's where we're gonna come in at. We're gonna hit in. And that's where we're going to start our clip at. Now, I'm going to take my orange slider. Let's come over. And I'm going to hear wifey talking. And then I switch to me. You know what? I don't want to see me. We're going to stick to wifey. We're going to stop the clip right there before I turn the camera. Now, at the end, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the letter O on your keyboard. O. O is for out. I is for in over here. You want to come in right here and you want to come out over here. So in and out, bam, bam, in and out. So that's the clip we're using. And what we're going to do is we're going to start this. Our movie is going to start with this clip. We're going to take this clip, click on it and drag it down. It's going to start our timeline. Bam. We just started our movie. The movie has started. We are in the process of editing this movie. So what we did was we created our timeline. You come up here, you see it says timeline one. That's the beginning of our little movie. All right, so now we're going to take from the other two. Now, mind you, that clip is still over here. You can still take from it. If I want to come back and get something else from that same clip, I can do it if I want to. But we're done with that. We're going to come over here. We're going to grab the next clip. The next clip, uh, what was this? This was, I think, some plantains. Yeah, I got a shot of the plantains. So I'm going to grab my little slider. That was a mojito. Why if we had a little mojito? That was good too. We're going to bring this slider over. And bam. Plantains. And plantains was good. So remember, you can hit I for in if I want to start right here. Or you also can grab this. You see this little square right here? It's the beginning of the clip. You can drag it over. And if you look up here, you can see where you're going with it. You can drag it right on over to right about where I want to start at. I want to start right here. So I dragged it right here and you can see what's happening right up here. That's where we starting at. So remember, you got two ways. You can hit in, I for in, or you can drag this little square to where you want it to start at. I'm going to start it right there. Bam. All right. So where do we want to come out at? Let's play it. Okay, we'll go ahead and keep that. If I wanted to come out somewhere around here, I can just hit the O. Or here's another little square at the end. We can drag this square and make it the end, but we're going to keep it how it is. So remember, I for in, O for out. Or you can use these little squares and put them where you want to start and stop your clip. So we got our second clip. This is it right here. We're going to click on it and we're going to drag it. And then I'm going to put it next to the first clip. And you come down here. These are your clips. One and two. You can use this little orange bar, this slider. You can go over your clips. That's wifey. And then we're going to transition to the empanadas. Bam. Look at that. We on a roll. Our edit's coming together. We got one more clip we're going to go over. All right. So. We're going to click on this. Now it's up here. We're going to play it. See what it's got. All right. We got some plantain, some corn on the cob, some rice, and some meat up there. That was a good lunch, too. It was this Peruvian spot we checked out up in Wilmington, Delaware. Good food. All right. So let's see where we want to come in at. Remember, we want to come in. Where do I want to come in at? Let me drag my little orange slider. Let's see. Look at them plantains. They're not in focus. We're going to come in when the plantains come in focus. Right about there. So, I'm going to come in right here. This is where I want to start this clip. We're going to hit the I. I for in. Bam. So, that's where we're starting at. 
Let's go ahead and play. Look at that meat. Look at the rice. Okay. Let's stop it right. Yeah, let's grab the square this time. Is that a hidden O? Let's grab the square. Bring the square where you want to stop it at. Let's stop it right there where it focuses on the rice. So we got our in and we got our out. Now we're going to come up here and go to file. Come down to save project. Remember, you want to kind of save as you go because the program can crash. Your computer can crash. You never know. And you want to save. <clears throat> and you want to save what you got. And you don't want to lose what you got. All right. So coming back up here, we're going to take this clip. We got our in and our out. We're going to take this clip. We're going to drag it and put it at the end. Bam. We got our little movie, y'all. We are good to go. Let's see. You can use this to go all the way to the beginning. And we're going to hit the play button. This is our first time eating out during COVID. How do you feel? I feel okay because there's nobody else here right now. <laughs> and then we're outside. <laughs> Bam! So we just made a little movie. We didn't even have to use the edit page, fusion, color, fair light. We didn't have to use none of that. We used these two pages and that was it. But I see something that I don't like in there. All right. So we're going to come down here, bring this slider. Let me see. All right. You see that rice? So you see the meat. And then after the meat, we're going to come check out the rice. But that rice ain't in focus. I'm not feeling that unfocused rice. So I want to get that rice out of there. So we're going to make a cut. We're going to come down here with all the clips are lined up. This is your movie. Your movie's lined up. And I'm going to click this clip. See how it highlighted? It turned orange. That means I'm about to do something with it. I don't like something. I'm about to get it out of here. I'm about to do something with it. So what I'm going to do is right where I don't like that unfocused rice, I want to get that rice out of there. I can use this little slider right here. See how this looks like a ruler's edge? We can use that to kind of fine tune our movements. So after we see the meat, after we see that meat, we come down to that rice. And the rice is out of focus. I don't like that. I want focus rice. So right here, where this orange slider is, that's where I want to cut at. I'm going to cut that unfocused rice out of there. I want to get that out of there. So we highlight it. This clip is highlighted. What you're going to hit is control B. B is for blade. You think of blade, think of making a chop, making a cut. That's what you're doing with this clip. You're making a cut. You don't want that right, so you're going to cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Skate. Cut it. All right. So we're going to cut it right there. All right. Now let's see what we want to come back in at. Let's take our little ruler's edge right here. We're going to do a little fine movement, a little slow movement. Let's see what we want to come back in at right when the rice come back and focus you see that not focus rice we want focus rice right about there that's what we're going to come back in at okay so what you got to do you got to make another cut so you're going to click this going to click this clip click this clip <laughs> highlight it make it orange and you want to cut right here because the rice is back in focus so what do we got to do to cut we just did it control b blade cut chop cut it cut it all right so we want this portion out of here right here okay so this is highlighted let's click off of it not highlighted now it's highlighted whenever something's highlighted that's what you know you're getting ready to work with you're getting ready to do something to that that area so if something is orange and you don't want to mess with it you got to make it unorange <laughs> but if you want to edit it or cut it or get it out of there you click on it and highlight it so it's highlighted it's orange to get it completely out of here what we're going to do is hit the backspace button bam that unfocused rice is gone okay so let's play it right from there meat rice focus rice bam see that unfocused rice is out of here we're going to come up the file what do we got to do we made a change what do we want to do we want to save our project save it <clears throat> That's what we want to do. Always, you know, save as you go. That way you don't lose nothing if something happens, if something crashes, power outage, anything can go wrong. All right. Now, I just want to tell you, if you do something that you make, they say you make a mistake. 
let's say you make a mistake and you want to undo something that you just did you just cut something wrong you cut too much out you want to get back what you just lost what you're going to do is you're going to hit control z you see what happened control z just brought that unfocused rice back that was the last edit i made the last cut i did it just brought it back so if you want to undo something that you just did control z but we don't want that so we're going to get it back out of here so remember we're going to highlight it click it turn it orange and backspace bam you gone come back up the file what we're going to do save our project all right so that is our movie y'all we made a little clip we are good to go now from here we're going to come over to deliver so we just did media cut we didn't even we didn't even go to the edit page see how simple that was we'll get into that later on another video we're going to go from cut all the way over to deliver let's click deliver okay so when you come to this page this is where you want to get your movie you want your movie you're ready to deliver the goods you need a file name it's untitled you need a name what do we call it we call it grubs <laughs> some grubs we need some grubs next you need a location where do you want your movie to go after you finish with it you gotta tell your computer where to send it you can't just i mean it's gonna be in davinci resolve it'll still be here but you want it saved somewhere in your your hard drive you want it in data whatever wherever you want it at you can you control that you can put it in your pictures your videos i'm gonna put mine in my data drive that's where I want mine to go. Got some space there. We're going to send it there. So grubs, we got a location. We send it to data. Oh, I forgot to say up here. This is kind of your, your settings. Where, what do you want to do with it? You got custom. You can actually send it straight to YouTube if you want. You got to kind of link your YouTube account with this. And you can send it straight to YouTube if you want to upload it. Vimeo. Is that a Twitter bird? H.264. I don't usually worry about none of these. I either go customs or I go YouTube. So right now we're doing custom. So right now we're going to do customs. That's what we're going to go with. File name grubs. We sending it to data. Remember, you can send it wherever you want. You can, it's up to you. Now let's come down here. So you need a format. It says QuickTime. QuickTime is usually for Max. We're going to go with kind of universal format, which is MP4. All right. Codec H.264 is what I shot at. That's what's available. That's what we're going to go with. Remember our resolution, 1080. Frame rate is 24 frames per second. I think I changed it to 23.976. I think we are good to go. Just make sure you go over everything. Make sure you check everything. Just make sure everything is ready for you to get your video you to get your little edit and then after that you don't got to worry about none of this down here or at least I don't <laughs> as a beginner you'll learn as you go next thing we want to do add to render so you want to render this movie so you want to click this and that's going to make it pop all the way over here so that movie is ready to render okay all you got to do is come down here and hit render all and rem remember when you click this button it's going to go to that location that you sent it to so if you sent it to your data it's going to show up over there so let's click render bam you see it's kind of going through it you see is is the magic is happening you can see the percentage up here it's a short clip so it's not going to take long so longer movies longer edits are going to take a little bit longer like i said depending on the speed of your computer might take a little bit longer or it might be shorter so that edit is going through 82 percent 85 86 almost there bam look at that completed completed it in 31 seconds so it's all done this movie is now over in where i sent it to this movie is now over in my data drive so y'all we just did it you finished your first quick edit in DaVinci Resolve. This is our first time eating out during COVID. How do you feel? I feel okay because there's nobody else here right now. <laughs> and we're outside.
it is a little bit of a learning curve, but once you start, you know, get into the process of the basics. That's why we just went over the basics. Once you get that, you'll be like, oh, this is cool. And you can move on to the more heavy duty stuff, which is actually what I'm doing. I'm learning more and more about it too. So y'all be cool, have fun, go make some content. Let me know about it in the comments. All right, y'all.